You know, despite loving to use Nostalgia Bait in their products, Bushiroi for some reason has been NTRing a lot of Vanguard players, especially the OGs, from actually giving us the encounter right line that actually matters. And this unit doesn't even belong to any of the main cast, but regardless of whether you are from the OG era or from the new era, you all can agree, this is easily one of the coolest unit from the old Vanguard and the one that has some of the best animation scene in the whole Daddy, game. Chill. And that, of course, is our lovely <laughs> And today, I'm gonna be talking about how the new Dayusha works. And let's see if Dayusha managed to bring the spirit of Dimension Police to the standards. I don't like where this is going. So normally, we're gonna start off with the right line, talk about the whole right line, and then we start covering the support. But this time around, I feel there is way too many contexts on certain specific support where as I'm talking about each of the right line, I'm gonna be interrupting with some of the support that has already been reviewed to kind of supplement and help you guys to understand how the deck kind of works. So, I believe I made myself clear. So, let's start off with which is the core of Dayusha. And in all honesty, there's not much to talk about here aside from him being a starter. But I do have to say, this card is extremely important to run in the deck because of how Dayusha works as well as some of the cards in the deck as well. So from the Goyusha, where are we going next? Well, we are going to right into his right arm with Dai. Linder. This is the your usual grade 1 that helps you to search for a specific set order for the deck. But what type of set order this deck actually uses? Sing. Well, it is base. Yes, the very same base that Hero! actually used. This means that some of the generic base support like the Heroes PR that we are getting is playable in this deck. Nothing much to say, but it is a nice way to revisit some of the older set order that has been used for a long time by just one single deck. But that's not the only trick that Dai Blender has as he does have the second skill where when this unit is called from Soul to Rekha Circle, if your Vanguard is grade 3 that you shall in his name, your Vanguard and this unit get 5k until end of turn. And do note, this applies to all Vanguard, so if you decided to play this work as well. So in terms of effect, it is actually great as it does increase the Vanguard power. But what you might notice is that for some reason, this need to be called from Soul. So does Die Dragon actually play like Dyna where it can call Die Battle from Soul? Or there is something that can help you to superior call card from Soul? Well, it is the latter and it is the base of this particular deck, Super Dimensional Fortress Die Base. And this is a very important card in my opinion. And that's why I want to bring it up first because this card is extremely crucial for the deck recyclability and also board building as it has two skills. The first skill is the recycling skill where by resting this card you can in a charge one, choose up to one grade two or less chicken lower from your drop zone and put it into your soul. But if you place this card onto your order zone this turn, you can search your deck instead of your drop. This not only helps to deck compressing but also help to recycle card that you need into your soul. As its second ability by energy blast to and rest this order so you can only use one of the two per order you can choose up to one grade two or less Jigen Robo from your soul, call it to regard circle. This is why Die Battle second effect was worded this way, as the main mechanic of the D Robo in Ranked is to build your soul as much as possible, deploy it using Die Base, and essentially have a full board full of different Jigen Robo, which help to give different benefit in the battle. As we can move from the right arm to the leg, I want to leave the last card as a climax card because Die Mariner is okay, but is not the MVP of this deck. As this card has ability where when this card from hand during your turn, you can put it into your soul. So work as kind of like uh, this card target for right deck of any future D Robo that need you to discard a card. And then when this unit is placed on regard circle from soul by your card's ability, if you have Daisha Vanguard, this unit plus 2k and your opponent cannot intercept. This ability is decent and is a nice counter against the certain deck that has ability to intercept or at least need intercept or use intercept intercept as a way to supplement their defense. And as I have mentioned before on this channel, no intercept in the standard actually matter a lot weirdly enough. And from the legs, are we gonna move to the left arm? Well, yeah. no, we are moving to the wings and the shield first. Interesting. As we're gonna go straight into the grade 2 of the right line first, and that is Die Dragon. When this name is wrote upon by grade 3 card with Daisha in its name, call this card to regard circle. So help to trigger its own effect, where with the same position as any other dimension robot that triggers when it call from so, 
know you can have this unit plus 5k and additional ability where when your vanguard is attacked you can retire this unit choose one of your vanguard and it temporarily gain 15k until end of that battle so essentially work as an emergency 15k which is nice in itself but i do feel that it is a little bit weird to have a unit that turn it into a proper shield during an opponent turn especially with dimension police usually being a deck that revolves around stacking as much power onto the vanguard as possible but i do like the way this card signify the role of die dragon because it's supposedly a shield and the wing of Dayusha. so for the longest time die dragon has always been an offensive unit so finally for once he technically can protect Dayusha as a proper shield of the deck yes i like that and then you guys might be waiting for this card because in my honest opinion this is a nicest reference to episode 82 of the original anime aka the asia circuit arc where kote was able to beat ren because he drew this card the mvp of this deck in my opinion is Yes, the card that used to always be the critical. While this card is in soul, if your vanguard is die dragon and your opponent vanguard is great to a greater, and you have Goyusha, die lander, and die marina in your soul, you can put a card from your hand into your soul, write die Yusha from your right deck as stand. So yes, this is the literal with all the pieces that needed to build into die Yusha. And not only that, this card also has additional ability where when it calls from so to Rekha Circle as usual, you can adjust your vanguard critical to 2 if your opponent has grade 3 or greater vanguard. So yeah, this card despite no longer being a critical, it works a bit like a critical. A very nice touch by Bushiro and I will say this now, that's a really really great design and reference by Bushiro. As now that we have Goisha, Die Battle, Marina, Die Dragon and Die Blender, we can finally combine all and form Shoujiken Robo Die Yu. Daisha has two abilities where when he attacks the vanguard, you can counter blast one, you can draw a card, and if your opponent is grade 3 or greater, you can choose any number of your unit with Jigen Robo in their different card names and they get 5k until end of turn. And then we have the second ability. At the end of the battle, this unit attack, put a card from hand into your soul, stand this unit, and it gets drive minus 2 until end of turn. But if you have Bison do not have Goyusha and your personal right this turn, you can bind Goyusha from your soul to get additional drive until end of that turn. Wait a minute! A little bit disappointing in my honest opinion, but the cards still work. It helps to buff the whole board, in which it also does buff himself, and at the same time, the restand actually is quite painful if you combine it with die battles. It's a little bit sad that we departed from Dimension Police playstyle of stacking Vanguard power as much as possible, but at the same time, this is nice in itself, and as someone who have playtested it, it's actually a very nice touch. But before anything else, we have to talk about the very last card of Dayusha as a deck and that is Dai Lady. Hold up! Wait a minute! Yes, of all things they decided to bring back is a unit that we haven't seen her appearing for the past almost 12 to 13 years. So like seriously, this has been a really long while. So what does Dai Lady do? Well, when placed on record, if your vanguard is Jigen Robo, you can search your deck for one base card and then shuffle your deck. My disappointment is immeasurable straight up a searcher yes seriously hero players your complaint is justified because it took you guys one and a half year before you get a mass dania which is a really good card but it took dayusha one review for them to get a base searcher <laughs> You serious? But regardless, Die Lady is still a really good card for the deck, especially she also works as a generic 20k unit as long as you have two or more base cards in your order zone and you're attacking great or greater unit. So yeah, this is gonna be a main unit that you use to essentially attack your opponent. So what is the good point? and the bad point of Daiyusha. The best part about this deck is the fact that the deck recycles a lot of soul and actually good at board building. These two has to be put together because of the fact that Dai Base is exactly that card that kind of facilitate and kind of gel everything in the deck together really really well. The deck also has a nice pressure coming from Daiyusha combined with the Dai Battle with the additional crit and the deck has just enough pressure to kind of push your opponent over the edge with Dai Lady. And on top of that, the deck is 
is quite self-sufficient without the need of anything extra from your generic pool but the deck do have a few flaws the first one is of course as a product that being marketed as a nostalgia bait this card doesn't really place like dimension police but rather a set order pale moon or dark state in that regard you should have just get up a set order focus right line in dark state instead and at the same time the deck do have a poor hand size yes you do put card into soul which kind of lead into more board building in the later part of the game but your deck doesn't really have a lot of draw power outside Dayusha skill that help you to draw this means that you are kind of forced to land draw trigger in your deck and even with draw trigger you might not be able to get all the pieces in time especially if you're fighting against the deck that has a lot of strong aggro in the earlier part of the game and last but not least if you decided to run Dayusha straight you do not have an access to counter blast and the deck do use quite a bit of counter blast so I would say if you manage to find Vidas Bell Stand which is a generic CC for any deck that run base try to at least run a few copy in your deck because it will help you tremendously and that's Dayusha the deck that in my opinion does feel a little bit different from the your usual dimension police but it's still a very good deck and fun to play regardless and let's be real here we all finally have an excuse to say the line so yeah what do you guys think about Dayusha as the whole deck do leave down in the comments below and yeah that's all I have for today take care of yourself and this is Mac Megane signing out I'm gonna run to the